Wait, what? Hey, my car, tell her, Papa. I'm supposed to read the. What is English? <laughs> And today I'm here with my most anticipated new releases of July 2018. I have a total of five books to talk about this month. I tried to pick the less popular, less known books because personally, I don't like hearing about the same five books over and over again on everyone's channels. So without further ado, let us get started. So the first book I'm going to talk about actually is a little bit more on the popular side, but it is a fairy tale retelling and yo girl loves fairy tale retellings, so it needed to be on my list. It's called Sea Witch by Sarah Henning and it is supposed to be released July 31st, 2018 and it is basically Ursula's origin story from The Little Mermaid and as I said, I love fairy tale retellings so it needed to be included. I'm sorry, not sorry. The second most anticipated new release I have on my list is The Cheerleaders by Kara Thomas. This is supposed to be released on July 31st, 2018 as well. Five years ago, the cheerleading squad at Sunnybrook High was disbanded after a lot of the cheerleaders were mysteriously killed. Monica's sister was the last cheerleader to die and she just wants to forget everything that happened all those years ago. Then a new student shows up at Sunnybrook. Monica quickly realizes that the cheerleaders are not done dying yet and that the town knows more than they're letting on. Personally, I just think that this movie seems like your typical lifetime movie and I am just here for it, honestly. I really want to see what the heck is behind the deaths of all these cheerleaders. Like, who's killing all these cheerleaders and why? Your girl wants to know. The third book I'm going to talk about is called Baby Teeth and this is by Zoe Stage and it is supposed to be released July 17th, 2018 and honestly I think it sounds so creepy and I am living for it. It follows Suzette and her seven-year-old daughter Hannah. Suzette knows that her daughter is a little bit off but her husband doesn't seem to notice anything strange. Hannah wants to be rid of her mother so that she can be alone with her dad and she'll stop at nothing until this becomes true. I'm just saying like kill her seven-year-old I am so ready for this book. I don't know why, but it just seems so interesting to me and I want to know everything about Hannah and what she's going to do to get rid of her mom. Like, I'm ready. I'm so ready. The next book I have is called Saving Back and is by Courtney Cole and it is also supposed to be released on July 17th, 28. This book follows Natalie and her son who has an addiction to heroin and how that affects him and her family. I just personally like books about this topic and like addiction and mental health and all that jazz. I've heard it's kind of similar to Ellen Hopkins without like the verse parts of it. It's just kind of a story but like similar storyline. Does that make sense? I love those kind of books so I'm very intrigued by it. And the final book is called Like Never Like Always. This is by Anne Aguirre and it is supposed to be released on July 17th, 2018. After a car accident with her best friend Morgan, Liv wakes up in the hospital room and everyone is calling her by Morgan's name. She thinks this is a mistake so she tries to correct the hospital staff but when she looks into the mirror she actually sees Morgan's face staring back at her. So now living as Morgan, Liv quickly realizes that her best friend isn't exactly who she said she was. I just think that this sounds so intriguing. I want to know who the heck Morgan is and who she was saying she was but like wasn't. Like is she like some super spy or something or is she like a murderer? Like what is going on? I need to know. All right guys, so those were my five most anticipated reads for July. I'm actually super excited for these. Will I get to them? Probably not because you girl never buys books full price so it's not going to be until another five years until I actually read these books. But let me know down below if you plan to read any of them or if you have what you've thought of them and I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye. Yeah.